Hi guys, welcome back to Italam and this is the second video in the series how to make money selling simple ebooks online. Now in our last video we saw how why you should do this method and also how to create your own free publisher account. Now if you haven't yet done so, you can open your own free draft to digital account from the link below. Now in this video I'm going to show you the first method of how you can go about creating these simple ebooks for yourself. Now there are a few things you're going to need, only two by the way. Google Chrome Translator and the, 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 or the extension and also the microsoft word now now let's know the microsoft word is how you're going to be saving your ebooks to upload later on and uh, the chrome extension is what i'm going to show you why you need it okay now the first things first let's see the google translator app and then you can also get the google translator Chrome extension. Now these two can help and they do help. So the first thing, let's first of all go to the to the store and see and, and install this Chrome extension. Okay, as you can see, you can just simply come over here, click on the add to Chrome. can add the extension now this is the now this chrome extension is going to help you with what you can also do with the with the with the main one or the with the web based web based one so the main thing you want to do is first of all come up with a topic of what book what sort of book you want to create Say for instance procrastination, it will be losing weight, you can maybe search lose weight. And then on the on the on the on the language side, you're going to select something, it could be maybe Portuguese, and then you see the tips on how to do that. Let's say weight lose weight loss. Let's say weight loss tips. And then you're going to copy the Portuguese version and then just simply search it on Google. Now you're going to see several tips, articles that have been written in Portuguese. Now these articles aren't available in English. So that means they are only available for, for guys who understand Portuguese. So as you can see, you can just simply using that extension. You don't even need the extension, but basically it can also help because that's, I, I found that at times you find that the translations are a bit different. I don't know how that works, but yeah, I've, I've found that. So we've got the 20, let's see, let's check out this article. We've got 20 tips to lose weight fast from, may have the name Min Havida or Min Havida. As you can see, this is an entire article that is purposely dedicated to showing you 20 tips that you can go about losing weight. You can then click on this, translate the entire article now your main goal is to find an article that is very unique and the way you do this is that as you can see after you've translated this article you can just grab the entire article and then you go check for plagiarism so for instance you can just grab it like this and then come to our website say doubly checker And then see whether there are any matches online for the article. Okay. If there are any plug, whether the, if the article is plagiarized, you'll have to keep looking for one that isn't plagiarized because you don't wanna create. You don't wanna create something that can be easily be found online as you can see this already they've got like 40 percent plagiarism that means that it isn't suitable not unless you want to go around re re rephrasing everything that is written so for this one we are going to leave it i'm going uh, uh, let's choose something that isn't that easily found online so let's let's go with this article and check
this one is very very short you need a longer article a longer article works best if you don't see the google chrome translator extension you can just simply come the extensions options and then simply just enable it so as you can see this one is 70 percent plagiarized so that means that it isn't really good and not going to work let's say something like uh, for procrastination tips in portuguese let's search for it basically you want something that is unique something that and then at times you'll come and find that you've got an, a website that truly has got so many articles that makes it so easy for you to have so many books out of it so as you can see the article itself is long enough and it's really quite detailed so what we want to do is just come over here the translator and change that option to english let's see whether the app is going to work as you can see the app comes in handy the extension comes in handy because it has translated all this so as you can see we've got an article over here so the first step is first of all to check whether it's actually unique before we go ahead and uh, use it copy it now this step this step is very important don't skip this make sure that the article itself it's unique you do you do come across articles that are very very unique it's only from popular website that you always find that they are heavily plagiarized so let's see the status of this so far so good As you can see just uh, only one results found but the most of it is unique i'm going to show you what you're going to do with this in this case when you come across something that isn't unique you're going to first of all check and see what is making it not unique from what you can see we've got uh, just one matches and from it's just from a post so that means maybe this person also went ahead and did this so let's first of all confirm as you can see as you can see this is just an excerpt from maybe the, the article itself but that is okay it doesn't mean that much you only need to come and uh, rewrite just this phrase manage your emotions not just your time you can just rewrite this and rephrase it to make it sure make sure that it's unique but so far so good that means that we can use this article so what all you want to do is just come check it so you are going to have to go through the entire article confirming that it's not plagiarized and if we if you find any parts that are, are you have just to simply rephrase them because that's all we want to do just have simply to rephrase them so as you can see this is an entire article you copy it then you want to come and open docs.google.com now this is the word document that i told you that you would need because this is the version that you need to upload it with you have to upload your book with then you can come simply then name your your book however you want say stop procrastination let 
and then just simply copy the entire post over here then at this stage all you wanna what what you wanna do is just simply beautify it make sure that it's congruent it's reading right and all that so procrastination can be an enemy of what all that all that as you can see it's still grouped well it's still looking nice and all that all you want to do is just come uh, remove any links or remove anything that is referencing them in any way and then in the when you come to creating covers i'll show you what you're going to do so that you add the cover inside your inside your your book now your ebook and then i'm going to show you everything literally but this is the now the first method that you will be i want you to go and start looking for complete ebooks that you can just simply do as we've done and have it ready have it ready come up with a, a title that best suits you maybe you've got some, maybe a sub subtitle that you also want to include it there you can add it maybe anything else you want but make sure that you've got a, an ebook that someone can come read entirely read it and then also benefit from it you don't want to create something that people won't be won't be helped with it because people will be paying you to get this information so what, what you want to do is make sure that the article itself is is amazing and it's so you might have to take some time doing this but generally maybe an hour or two to maybe mix find another article like this one see how it can blend together with this one match it and then just and make sure that the entire article is unique it really has to be unique so that in case of anything there's literally nothing no or no any other article or any other information that is similar to yours you know so just keep doing what i'm doing and then within the two hour period we'll have come up with something that is good it's simply just copy pasting and editing and maybe rearranging a few things maybe the title maybe the first point can be the second point or the third point or you just jumble jumble mix things up a bit just make sure that you come up with a book that is okay now basically as you can see this is you can see this is the first way that you can create your own unique ebook you know we haven't taken time doing it so if you spend time on this you can really come up with something that is amazing now this is the first method of how to create your own unique ebooks or simple ebooks that you can now go ahead and upload to draft to digital and uh, benefit with it you know so now that's the method now basically like i said this method does work you know it might be simple it, might, it can look simple but it really does work so you you don't complicate anything you know it's always good to make sure that you are you are keeping things simple and this is as simple as it gets now if you don't want to really go ahead and write your own entire book you can that is also an option you can write the entire book you can just come like the guy who wrote this article and go do your own research and then come up with your you, you, and write up your your own unique ebook from scratch and just do it the right way if you're okay with writing articles first you can actually knock something like this one off within a three hour period and you love something that you can be even proud of far, far more than what we've done but at the end of the day now this is also an option for if you don't want to go about creating this article from scratch yourself or doing all that research and all that now this is just a walk around around it now in the next video i'm going to show you another way that you can create these simple ebooks that you can then go ahead and publish and profit from them now this method works you only all, all you have to do is just simply take action on it now if you like this video make sure you hit the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel for even more working trainings now in the coming videos i'm going to really show you other ways that you can benefit from draft to digital but first let's first of all look at all ways that you can go about creating these simple ebooks now i will also link a link i'll also leave a link to you to to an, an, a, a certain resource below that whereby you can go and get ready-made products that you can resell 
without having to worry about creating or coming up with these ideas yourself. Now, that is it for this video. And until next time, stay blessed.